I'm going to be talking this time on overcoming infirmity. Oh, aren't you glad that we have the power to overcome infirmity? Thank God. Thank God that we do. I was uh, praying and in so doing, I um, asked the Lord, I said, Lord, why is it that your people are so overcome by infirmity? When you have given us the power to overcome, Lord, you can take infirmity off of anyone in a split second. Not only that, but you are more than willing. You gave your life so that we can overcome. I was asking the Lord these things and just communing with Him, and He gave me some answers that I want to share now. Firstly, he said that his people do not understand the power of binding and loosing. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 19, and also in that same Gospel, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 18 and verse 18, these chapters essentially say the same thing. I have given you the keys of the kingdom, and whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. That means if I bind away a spirit of infirmity, that is done that is done in heaven. And if I lose the Spirit of God myself here on earth, then that is so done in heaven. That is what is meant by binding and loosing. And we can certainly bind a spirit of infirmity. He furthermore said, his people do not understand pulling down strongholds. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 says that the weapons that we fight with are not weapons of the world, but on the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. I love this translation, which is the NIV to demolish, not just pull down, but demolish strongholds. The Lord furthermore said, His people lack pure faith in me as having taken it on and overcome it. They lack pure faith. And they do not understand that He has given us protection, protection. And furthermore, He has given us the ability and He Himself will take it off, infirmity that is. So, uh, another thought is that his people have given place to infirmity through words. So, these are things then to keep in mind. And I claim victory in this area myself. For myself, 
and my family. And you can do it too. Because when he points something out, as we act upon it, then we can have victory in it and, and from it and uh, over it. Praise God! Yes. So, we have then the understanding which we claim now of binding and loosing that whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. We will take our spiritual weapons, act upon them, and pull down and demolish the stronghold of infirmity. We will use our faith in Jesus. He's taken on infirmity. He has overcome it. And we know that he has and he has given us abil ability uh, that we be protected from infirm infirmity and we put our faith and our trust in him as that one who can take it off in just an instant. Now, we are going to pl pray and act upon this because we ourselves can and will overcome as we appropriate Jesus' victory and the devil's defeat. In the name of Jesus, I take authority. I bind away a spirit of infirmity from myself and my loved ones. I loose the power of God. I pull down the stronghold of sickness and disease. I use my faith in Jesus as the one who's taken it on and overcome. I negate right now negative words spoken and I speak the positive words. I am healed, I am made whole, and I claim victory over infirmity. In Jesus' name, amen.